Hi there guys, you are watching Fishtail TV and today is gonna be new episode of uh, Catch and Cook this time we're gonna fish for burbot this lake is called uh, Laxante or maybe I'm pronouncing wrong it's east of Edmonton about 200 kilometers there I show you guys how I rig my tip up this kind of rig I use not only for burbot, I use it for pike and walleye as well. And they work like a charm. All those three predators you can catch just using this kind of rig. And use fluorocarbon leader, 30 to 40 pounds. I don't really use metal leaders, steel or titanium, whatever, for many years now. With that uh, clear fluorocarbon, uh, leader you're gonna have way more bites and it's durable it's solid it's pretty good material here we go our first fish we didn't catch anything big but we kept a few between two to four pounds I think there should be some big burbot in that lake because it's quite deep gosh like uh, there was a couple spots of 25 to 30 feet for my rod uh, I use same jig head and same smelt there's sexy just bounce off the bottom a little bit and then start jigging and you'll have a bite like this one fish on I love my my creation this ice fishing rod I built it myself and I absolutely love it it's so nice I can feel all the bites and uh, if you guys didn't see the video how I was building it go ahead and do there's a link on the screen for you for antenna it works amazing there's another keeper hey, hey. and another tip up last time I was on this lake in March last year and the bites were way better my god we we cut over 20 burbot in less than two hours you just put it down and bam but uh, I don't think they spawn yet that's why it was kinda compared to previous time it was hard to catch a couple little guys let them go to grow up see you bud yeah this trip we were there five and a half hours and we managed to catch only eight fish and we let uh, three go small ones that's a good one almost on a sunset when it's not that cold on the lake like this time it was plus two or three I don't know I prefer to kill fish don't let it die because of lack of oxygen do a quick kill and also let it bleed so your meat gonna be whiter like so got home there's my three fish yeah start your cutting all around the head be gentle cut only through skin on the back it's alright but uh, I mean yeah on the back but on the belly be gentle don't cut through the belly so you don't cut guts then grab your pliers and start working around start pulling at that skin off it comes comes pretty easy 
like so. Help it with your fingers. There. You can nail it to the board. As well, you can uh, take a screw gun and screw it to the board. Like that. Now get your pliers again and start pulling that skin off from the sides and from the top. And once you get half of it, you can just pull from one side all the way down. Yeah, that screw helps a lot, or nail, when you nail it to the board, especially with larger fish. Little guys you can hold with hand, but uh, for sure it works better. Here I'm cleaning a little bit more of skin, there's some, some more meat under there. And start cutting on the spine. and uh, work your way to the rib cage. It's pretty similar to any any filleting fish. But here you, you have to cut that chunk. Don't cut through the ribs. Like this. And then when you get to the butthole, just poke it through and work your way down like you would do in any other fish, pike or walleye. Done. First one. Nice fillet. Completely boneless and very delicious meat do the same on the other side burbot is great because you're gonna end up with three fillets two from the side and one belly fillet nice and white meat when you cut fillet especially from burbot put it in a bowl with water and salt and let it sit there for a half hour or so it's gonna get that extra slime what left on the fillet off as well that uh, maybe muddy taste a little bit works well for any any fish after you cut fillet put it in water cold water with salt there is a belly fillet quite a bit of meat that's out from two burbot. I didn't clean sword one on this video. And we're gonna cook three fillets for for supper. Who didn't see my previous catch and cook video? Give it a try guys, it's pretty interesting video too. Catch and cook for uh, pike. There was a description, there was a link on the screen. For spices again I use salt, pepper and this time some fish spice from Ukraine too. Mix it like so, let it sit for a couple minutes and meanwhile prep your butter. Don't be afraid to put too much. It has to be too much. You can't, pretty much can't make it worth with butter or oil when you cook and fish. The more the better. Squeeze some lamb on there. Steer. Good to go. I would use breadcrumbs on this one, but I forgot to buy them, so I, I used flour again and egg. 
Another way to cook it, and it's quite delicious too, just uh, dredge it in egg first, then in bread and breadcrumbs, and deep fry it in your deep fryer. Set it for 160 degrees, load half basket, and cook it for 6 to 8 minutes, and it's pretty good, like popcorn bourbon, amazing. But like this on pan, fried in butter with lemon, it's very good too. This is truly poor man lobster. I don't think it tastes like lobster though, but the meaning, lobster is expensive and this is for poor man, I agree with that. But the taste of it, I don't know, it's more like fish. Inside it looks very good, nice and white juicy chunks, take a look, oh yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching and being with me on this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like my channel, please subscribe. There's gonna be more videos like this one. Next, I'm gonna uh, cook fish soup from Burbot. This is some crazy USSR recipe. So stay tuned for this one. Thank you again for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.